Hello everybody, welcome to the Magic Tech Food Channel. This video, we're going to show you a recipe to make one of the famous and most delicious vegetables in Moroccan history. This, this, this vegetables is exclusively Moroccan cooking because it, all Moroccan, all people in Morocco like it. It's the cardon. The cardon is one of the one of the artichoke family. It's like a, the, it's very delicious, very soft. Uh, in this video, we're gonna show you how to make it. So check it out. The cardon, you can buy it from any grocery store. It's like, uh, here in America, we have it in in a store, special store called Wegmans. You can find it in any state and any city. It's It has to be fresh. Look at that, it's very fresh, very soft. The leaves are not really, really dark green they're like what light green as you can see here this is how you're gonna buy your cardon it's it's like a cilantro cilantro branch it look like but it's it's really cardon it's not cilantro this is the only difference let's go to the peeling process as you can see you can't you have to peel it only a few in, in a few time not not the entirely the whole cardon you can just peel the, the dark spots and the edges, especially the edges, they have spines on it. You can put it in a bowl of cold, fresh cold water. You can add a piece of lemon or lime. That prevent them from getting dark. Prevent the cardoon from getting dark, from getting the dark spots. And as well, you can rub your hand, as you can see here, with the lemon. So, you, so your hand can dunk, don't get, get stick with the with the dark spots from the cardoon. And this is it. This is how you're gonna preserve it fresh for and preserve its color for a long time. Also, you can use any kind of meat here. We have to to make it with the with the with the cow cow leg. As you can see here, that they're, they're cut in thin pieces. Look at that marble and look at the fat in the marble. It's gonna be cooked in a non time, melted in the mouth, and delicious meat. You can use any meat, but this is the best one you can use. And of course, accompany with the meat. We're gonna use some onion, one onion a little bit of cilantro and a, and a glove of garlic that's it first of all you're gonna put the meat in the in a cooking pot first in the bottom because it's gonna take longer to cook other than the vegetables and then you're gonna dice shred it some onion or dice it is up to you is up to your choice And you do the same for the garlic, just dice it for a little, in a little piece and that's it, you're done. Then you're gonna add some ingredients right here, some really special ingredient, not really some heart, some black pepper, like a spoon and a half or two spoons of black pepper, up to you, up to your taste. A little bit of ginger, like two spoon of ginger, one, one spoon and a half of ginger. And here's some turmeric, like two spoon of turmeric to give it the golden color, and then to preserve it from getting more darker. And then here's some a little bit of pinch of spicy cinnamon. So it doesn't it doesn't matter how much cinnamon you put, but this puts a little bit because it's very strong. Then you're gonna have to, to ground one piece of nutmeg, one bowl of nutmeg. As you can see here, we use the fresh nutmeg. You can just grind it on the top of it. A pinch of salt, up to the taste. A bit of olive oil, like one spoon of olive oil. Around one cup of vegetable oil. And one and a half cup of fresh cold water. And that's it. You're gonna put the fire in high. Let it cook for 18 to 20 minutes. It 
just give it a little stir to make sure all ingredients are mixed in and also to make sure the meat doesn't stick in the bottom of the coconut pot. And now it's time to chop some cilantro in little pieces, like chop it in a little piece. That's it. And this way, you can just add it on the top of the, the meat to be cooked, make sure it cooked together. Make sure you close your pressure cooker and let it cook for 18, 20 to 25 minutes because the meat is very fatty, it's going to cook in a long time, it's going to melt in a long time. After the meat is almost done, you can see bubble, you can add it on your cardoon, your fresh cardoon at the top and just make it cook for a little bit, for 15 more minutes and that's it, everything is done. And of course, we can don't forget to add your secret ingredient is a piece of preserved lemon. It's very salty. You don't have to add salt. Then just pull a little bit of the broth from the bottom and put it on the top of the cardoon. So make sure it's getting to, all the flavors are getting into the cardoon. And that's pretty it. And let's add it some touch. We can cut some tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, as you can see here, the little pieces. So it's gonna melt because the tomato is very fresh, it's very tender, it's gonna melt easily inside the, the, the broth. And then you can add a piece of chili, it's up to you, or like spicy food. If not, you can just escape that. And after everything is done, 15 minutes exactly, look at that, it's ready to serve. You, all you have to do now is put it in a plate and enjoy. And this is the final product we decorated with some Moroccan olive oil. Very delicious, very tasty. Even the oil you can see is not really greasy, it's very healthy, it's very delicious. It's bon appetit. So I wish you liked this video, I will see you in the next video and stay safe.